Okay, now I'm going to show you a technique which will be particularly useful if you have a good ear for sound. Um, I'm going to show you a few things about hand position, but you should listen carefully to the sound. That way it will be much easier for you to replicate what I'm doing. I'm in drop D. And, um, you know what, let's start taking a look at the movement of the right hand as a whole. So the movement comes from the arm, not the thumb. It sees the ball of the hand land on the ends of the strings right at the bridge. Which in turn means that the strings will be slightly muted when played. Now let's look at the fingers. The index finger lands between the A and D string with the upper side of the nail on the D string. At the same time, the thumb is brushing the sixth string and landing shortly on the A string. I lift it up right after. And I like it when the thumb really punches the string and makes it slap against the fret. Start by getting a feel for this movement um, and try to find a sound you're both happy with and can consistently repeat. And that might take a few minutes, it might take longer. Take as long as you need. Just make sure you stop before you get a blister on your thumb. So this is how the whole groove might sound. And I'm using the fretted D on the A string as well. Yeah, right. The arm moves slightly throughout um, all the time. And this pendulum movement means that the index finger is clicking again the strings. The nail of the index finger. That's the beat. And the index finger also plays the A string on its way back. But the sound this makes is rather soft and muted. All right. Uh, okay, that's enough talking. Sometimes it can be useful to simply imitate the movement and breathe in the sound. So once you feel relaxed and comfortable with this movement, join me. I'm gonna loop this figure now for a while and uh, you can play along with me. <laughs> 